I've been expecting you. day for favorites now isn't it so hey everyone how you doing good i hope all right so september is fucking over oh my god like thank god but like oh my god all at the same time my months are like october through december those those are the fucking months man even though the first day of fall was like last week you know it's it's like it's 95 degrees in sacramento what the fuck is this like, bitch, tell me why it's that fucking hot here. It's supposed to be fall. Anyway, so because it's so fucking hot, that's why I have my fan, because I can't deal. And this isn't even, like, long sleeve. But, you know, because I just, I want it to be fall so bad. And I just, I keep telling myself, like, if you just dress like it's fall, it will become fall, even though that's not how it works. I can dream, all right? The background looks so fucking wonky right now, but I don't feel like fixing it, so whatever. Anyway, shout out today is my September, September, uh, favorites. Bitch, let's get right into this motherfucking beach. Sorry, my wrist like hurts a little bit and sometimes I just have to do this until it cracks and then I'm good. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so my first favorites, plural, just came in the mail the other day and bitch, I've been wearing them nonstop like twice. And that are is what what? And those are my two MAC lipsticks in Yash and Lap. Yash is just like, of course, because I'm a basic bitch, it's a nude, like, are you surprised? I think the fuck not. This is Yash. Don't worry, I'll zoom in in a second. And this, this motherfucker is part of the Star Trek collection, as you can see, right there, that little, the Star Trek emblem. And yes, I'm a fan of Star Trek, all right? Let's just, like, okay, I'm not like hardcore, like I've watched every single episode of Star Trek, but I have seen every single movie, so fuck with me. Um, I'm much more of a movie girl than I am like shows. Majority of the time you'll find that I've watched the movies. Although there are instances where I've read the books too. I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, and this one's called LAP. Um, it's spelled L-L-A-P, which stands for Live Long and Prosper. This is a frost, and the other is a mat, and bitch. So this one is Yash, and this one is Live Long and Prosper, bitch. It's so gorgeous. I feel like LAP would actually look really fucking good over Yash, actually. I just love California summers. They're great, because California doesn't know what a season is, so it just gets hot whenever the fuck it feels like it, whether it's winter or actually summer. Both of them are beautiful, and they're the same as my other MAC lipsticks. They last pretty feckin' long. They're so feckin' gorgeous, and I'll probably, I kind of want to do a Star Trek look in general. I have a few in mind from like the newer film, but anyway, I wanted to look surrounded by this because it's gorgeous, and this is probably gonna turn into my everyday lipstick for the next few weeks, you feel me, or like longer than that, a while but they're so gorgeous and like I love me some nudes like pictures and just like lipsticks nudes get me but I'm, I'm joking about like the, the nudes I'm talking about like like lipstick nudes that the next favorite is dirty, like myself. So the next one is my real technique techniques. My next favorite is uh, the real techniques, the real techniques. If I can fucking spec beauty sponge, and it's dirty because like I've used it but it's literally just as good as the Beauty Blender. But like, what I will say is that I do appreciate that it's like bigger when it, cause it's damp right now cause I used it to touch up myself, my face. So I do appreciate that it's bigger when you get it damp to use it because that really helps with like putting foundation on or BB cream or concealer or whatever. But I do notice that it's like a lot harder for me to like carve out underneath my brows and shit and like get into smaller areas without fucking up another portion of my makeup um, because it's bigger. And you would think that this would be more convenient, this edge to get those spots, but it's kinda. So I do like the BB blender better for that is to getting a little bit more precise and in smaller areas, but nevertheless, I I can use this, it just takes a lot more maneuvering, you know? But this is bomb as fuck. So you don't need to go out and spend 20 fucking dollars for a goddamn sponge. You can go to like Walgreens and get one of these for $6. My next three favorites are brushes, 
brushes because brushes are life brushes all three of them are affordable <laughs> you're welcome so the first one is an elf brush and this is it was just called like a small stipple brush it's not particularly super round but it's more like oval it looked like that and like comparing it to like my hand but again I have big hands so sorry yeah I use this as a contour I'm not great I've been wanting like a smaller stippling brush to contour because I've seen other gurus contour with stippling brushes and I'm like bitch that looks smooth as fuck and I want to look smooth as fuck and I want my contour to be cut you know I want to have like such beautiful cheekbones that people are like reminded of Angelina Jolie when they see me but that's not really gonna happen because I'm not nearly as pretty like who is as pretty as Angelina Jolie like no one like Athena Aphrodite maybe not even bitch don't got nothing against Angelina the fuck yeah this chisels out my shit and I appreciate the chiseling all right like everyone appreciate a good chiseling and speaking of chiseling so this is great all right this was like three dollars at fucking Walgreens but speaking of chiseling I also got this from Morphe. This is a um, Morphe M55 Savum. And this one is round. Little tiny little dome brush, yes. I was using that e.l.f. brush to contour while I was waiting for this to come in the mail because I'm high maintenance. Just kidding. No, I'm not. Because I've been looking for like a smaller brush to contour because I got this one because like Nikki tutorials used it to contour and I'm like, bitch, contour all motherfucking fleek. I want to get that brush, you feel me? And it just, it's too big for like my face to contour with. So I've been just using it for like bronzing up my cheeks a bit and then taking it on the temples and around the forehead rather than like contouring with and then I got the elf brush and contour with that but finally I've been looking for a brush that's just the perfect size to get in the groove of my cheekbones you know so that I can like properly contour my face and not use a giant brush that's like too big to contour with and then I just have like brown motherfucking everywhere when really it's not supposed to be like that's supposed to be a shadow that makes your cheeks look ba bam like that and I found the ba bam brush it's right here, bitch. Perfect size. Perfect. And last brush of the day is a little tiny little crease brush. You feel? Oh no, I did the hand. <coughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Hate it. I hate the hand thing. You couldn't tell. Hopefully, you can see it because I'm not doing that again. You will never see me repeat that again. Just kidding. I'll probably like slip up at some point, but. Okay. But I've been looking for like a, yeah, compared to like my face, I'd rather do this than the hand shit. It's very small and it's meant for the crease. You feel me? So if you're doing a cut crease, this brush would be perfect and it is perfect. It's just beautiful. I've been looking for like a very small one, like a very tiny small blending shits so I can get detailed up on that alien. Oh yeah, and this is the Morphe MF6F. MF motherfucker. This is the M562. If you looking for that shit to cut your motherfucking eyelid, boom, bitch. Boom. The next two things are eyeliners, and I actually mentioned these specific eyeliners in my last favorites video, but these are two different colors. I went back and I got more colors like I said that I would. So I got Pebble and I got Green, and the specific names are the NYX Vivid Bright Liquid Liners in Vivid Violet and Vivid Envy. I like that. And they're just as good as the other ones. And like I love when drugstore brands just have good quality shit. Like when they have stuff that's like reasonably priced so you don't have to spend your entire fucking paycheck on like three things just so you can have quality. They come out with shit that you don't have to do that. And then it's like good quality but you're not spending a fucking arm and a kidney to get it. So these are only like six or seven dollars a piece and they're majestic. Like really they just are. Like I really love using these to like accent so like I'll do like my normal winged eyeliner and then I'll like either outline the whole wing or I'll just do like the outside like the under part of the wing or I'll just do like just the wing and then not do the it's great these are fucking great bitch like Tony the motherfucking tiger <laughs> Great, like they really are, they're amazing. And next, I'm wearing on my face today, much like a lot of the favorites today, obviously. So the first, or <laughs> the first, this isn't the first favorite, you fucking idiot. So, next thing is the Maybelline BB Creme in the lightest shade, like 100 light, like the lightest fucking shade. I really just went to the lightest shade and I'm like, that one is my shade. Like I already know, I don't have to test it. And it was, so here it is. Yeah, I have it on my face today. I used to use the Maybelline Rewind and like I use that as like a BB cream like all over my face and then went in with my Maybelline Fit Me concealer but I thought to myself bitch if you're putting concealer all over your fucking face just get a BB cream the fuck is wrong with you like a lot of things so then I decided to get a BB cream and not be a fucking idiot so I got this because I literally googled like the best drugstore BB creams and this bitch popped up you know and I'm like bitch I'm down and it works really well like it is super sheer like it says it, it's sheer but it covers up the color correcting enough and then I just go in 
in with like more problem areas with my Fit Me concealer and boom. My best is a dot and it looks so good. So I really like this shit. I feel like I said with all of them, like it's really good. Like obviously it's my favorites. Why would I put it in here if I didn't like it? The fuck? But I do like this and I'm gonna be using this BB cream for a while until I eventually go back on my evolution scale and wear my full face again. But I, it's gonna be a while till I do that again. And the second to last motherfucking thing is the gleaming ray of sunshine you have been looking at this whole video. And now I'm not just talking about like my face in general, which like I already know that it is, but like I'm talking about this bitch. Like I know you've been looking. I know you've been peeking, you know. Low look, a little glance. I know you've been seeing it, okay? Okay. Yeah, like we all know it's gorgeous, all right? And you're wondering, what is it? How is your face so glittery and so shiny? And how do you look like headlights without looking like headlights? Well, I would tell you it's the motherfucking Inglot shimmery shit. What is it called? Sparkling dust, face, eyes, and body. Poutre libre. Visage, ye girl. That's what I'm wearing, bitch. And I'm wearing it in O. Six. It's so. I just. Is this what Michelangelo felt like after he sculpted David? Just. This is my David. Okay, it's like gorgeous, sorry. Had like a miniature aneurysm there. <laughs> so you open it, and it's a cute little face pad. And see, it has, uh, you probably can't see that. It has glitter on it. And see, it's just like, it has a little sifter. You just like shake it side to side, and then it comes, or I normally, I don't even like shake it to get it out of the sifter, because it normally just goes on this little pad anyway. And then I just dip my Morphe 501 brush on this a little bit, and then just like go ham on that cheekbone, you feel? But yeah, I actually am wearing two highlights, and I've been putting this on top of another highlight. The highlight that I'm wearing underneath, Jesus, is the ColourPop highlighter in Stole the Show because bitch, this highlight will always steal the motherfucking show. Uh, but yeah, I've been putting this over it and I just cry every morning. I look at it and I'm like, you done did good life. You done did good. And last but not least, another Morphe thing because Morphe's my lover. And that is the, of course, I always get shit when it's hyped up, but you can you blame me? I think not. It's like everyone running to go get the fucking iPhone 7. Like when Morphe comes out with a new palette, everyone wants it, including myself. So anyway, the Morphe 35F. Paralect. I don't know if it's the F stands for frost or fall. Either way, I'm down because bitch. I don't know if you can see that shimmer, but bitch. Like I hella like this format. I don't know if this is just for this palette or this is gonna be like a new thing for them, but like all of these are shimmers and then like just this bottom row is all matte. Like I, I love that. And they're all transition shades, bitch, I'm down. But this one, I can already tell it's gonna be a gorgeous inner corner highlight. I'm not wearing it as an inner corner highlight. I actually don't really have one on today, but I know, shocker. This is a work of art, but I'm about to just go a ham on this bitch for the next like year, I don't, like, the rest of my life. I don't know, but this is gorgeous. So that is it for my physical favorites. And next, of course, I have my five favorite songs of the mother. Fucking month. So with my five favorite songs, I've been really feeling SoundCloud this month because almost all of them, if not all my favorite songs of the month are from SoundCloud because like there are some amazing fucking artists on SoundCloud that just need to be discovered. Oh, you did my shit. So, <laughs> mm, when I heard the song for the first time, I'm like, bitch, first of all, kill Bill, yes, bitch. Kill it, work, get it, pun, huh? Yes, bitch. But anyway, this song is actually called Chill Bill, and I think this is the remix of the song or it might be actually like, like just the original, I'm not sure. It's by Rob Stern, featuring Jay Davis and Spokes. I like, I vibe with the bitch. But the song is just really fucking good. Like, I heard the opening intro, like the, the Kill Bill whistle, and I'm like, yo, like, what is this going to turn into? And then the beat drop, and I'm like, I can't handle this. Yeah, so that's my first favorite song of the month. I smoke up on my weed. Oh, excuse me while I cry. <laughs> Memory rushes in, then washes you away. I am losing you to the sea. Your ghost, I will gladly bear. 
Okay, so that's Lanterns Lit by Sunlux. Again, this is like the third month in a row that one of his songs has been in my favorites. Obviously, I love his music. Like, okay, sorry passionate. But I mentioned it, I think in my last favorites, I mentioned this song and I said Lanterns Lit is so heartfelt. Like it really just made, this song makes me want to cry. Like I'm like, mm. but I think it's talking about like a loved one who's like passed away. Like I don't make me get teary eyed. It's so beautiful. Like I love like the chorus and just like the orchestra. And then he comes like, ah, it's just so beautifully arranged. I'm like, oh, but it's so pretty. And I'm just like, fight back to tears, bitch. Like, I just love it. Like, it's so chill and laid back. Like, ugh, I kind of hate using that word, but it's whatever. But you you really do vibe with it. You're like, I don't know if it's just me because, like, I love jazz. But I love when, like, classical is mixed with, like, a beat. Or, like, jazz is mixed with, like, a beat. I'm like, bitch, yes. But anyway, this song is called Blanking by Soft Glass. And the glass part is spelled with only one S. But I just hella like this song. Like, I can just imagine, like, ugh, let me get cheesy for a second, okay? But I can just imagine myself just being in the kitchen, like, cooking up my fucking potatoes early in the morning with, like, San Francisco landscape through my window and, like, this song playing. And I'm, like, cooking my motherfucking potatoes. Sorry, that's just me. I have a vivid imagination. But anyway, I like that song a lot. So, next one. Ooh, this shit. <laughs> Oh my, I just, mm. So, that was No Part by The Love Below. Also SoundCloud, and to find any of these songs, like, I'll put the links to the people's SoundCloud, like, Belair, but that song is literally, like, a half an hour long, literally, like, around there, and it's, like, just, like, a mashup of, like, different songs, and it's, oh, it's just so good and so beautifully, like, blended together, and it's, like, very cohesive, and it's, like, amazing. I just love it, like, I, bitch, I just, like, as you saw, like, I just, like, go ham with it. I feel like that would be, like, a really good road trip song like just lip singing like a fucking fool in the car with friends or something i just like really like that song and last but certainly not least oh i love this one that's really creepy <laughs> So that was Mirror by Juice the Conqueror on SoundCloud. Again, links will be in the description if you want to listen to more of their bomb ass motherfucking music because it, it really is just bomb as fuck because I can't, mind is blown. Uh, I just love that like chill R&B sound. I'm just surprised that like all of these people aren't like big label artists. Like honestly, I'm like, how? Like your music is amazing. How are you not more famous to fuck? But so, and yes, when, how? Those are my five favorite songs of Dement. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's all for my September favorites. Shockingly, I feel like this is gonna be shorter than like 18 minutes. Barely. Is it? Will it? Oh my God, it's like, how many licks does it take to get in the center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. It's like that. Will this video be less than 18 minutes? The world may never know. Just kidding, the world will know because you guys are like watching it and you know how long it is. There I go rambling like a fucking lunatic, but then again I am. So hopefully I shall see you in the next video. If you wanna be part of my batshit crazy, then just make that red button gray if you're catching my drift yes have a good week have a good night have a good second yeah all right that's all for today folks loony out motherfucker